Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Before I dive into talking more and more about the real-world weird stuff uh, that I've been teasing for all of this month, uh, I thought it would be interesting to uh, walk over to my bookshelf and grab some of the books that I've had on this stuff for a long time. Uh, the ones that I read many years ago, picked up at the local bookstore when there was still local bookstores long before Amazon came along, uh, where it was kind of tricky to find a lot of this stuff. Uh, and I managed to. A and I've read these books, and I love these books. Uh, some of them are a little better than others, uh, as far as the quality of scholarship in them goes, and as far as the uh, overall uh, value that they have over time provided to me. So I'm just going to grab a couple of them uh, and, and go through uh, just to do some quick stuff. Now, one of the earliest books that I came across, uh, because we had this one sitting in the house uh, up on a shelf or in a box or something, and I found it, is the classic Chariots of the Gods uh, by Eric Von Daniken. Uh, we also had uh, a couple other books by him, but I read this and I loved the ideas. Uh, as someone who was already a horror and sci-fi uh, initiate at the time, uh, the, idea, the ideas put forth in here were really interesting. I'm going to say they're pretty much just really interesting. Uh, Von Daniken goes a little weird sometimes, uh, and, and I don't mean that in a good way, especially now that we have a lot more uh, archaeology and, and actual research behind us. Uh, we've discovered a whole lot about our ancestors that really casts doubt on some of the theories here, but uh, Von Daniken's still around and he's still uh, talking about a lot of interesting things. I uh, come across articles by him every now and then uh, and other strange things that, uh, that he's working on. I think he was trying to put together a theme park uh, a year or three ago. Uh, I'd have to double check on that, but it's a book that really uh, opened the door to a lot of stuff. Uh, one of the other things that uh, really uh, helped uh, spike my interest in all this is this. Now, this book is Night Siege uh, by Dr. J. Allen Hynek and Philip J. Inbrogo with Bra uh, Bob Pratt. Uh, but the important part of this book is that this is about the Hudson Valley UFO sightings. Um, I grew up in the Hudson Valley, or just north of the Hudson Valley, when this all happened. I remember these stories of these weird sightings of lights in the sky being front page news on the, uh, you know, major market local daily uh, for the entire summer. And I know plenty of people who have seen things uh, during, or who did see things during that time. Uh, and it's very interesting, uh, some of the explanations that have come out about it uh, explain some of these sightings, but not all of them. Uh, it's, it's still a, a very interesting uh, time in my hometown uh, when that was going on. Uh, so that, that's, that, that's two that deal with, with your whole aliens and, and UFOs things. Uh, moving to more gen general stuff, uh, Daniel Cohen put out a uh, bunch of books, uh, the Encyclopedia of the Whatever. In this case, it's The Strange. Uh, there's also the Encyclopedia of Ghosts, uh, and he's got another one of Monsters. I didn't bother bringing that one out. Uh, but when I saw these uh, in the bookstore, uh, I simply had to get them because they are packed with a lot of classic stories um, about all of these uh, mysteries and everything, uh, touching on uh, just the table of contents out of the Encyclopedia of the Strange here. 
ancient mysteries, unknown places, strange people, uh, weird talents, natural mysteries, mysteries of magic, and classic mysteries. And that's got everything from cryptozoology to ghosts to psychic abilities to UFOs to just weird history. Uh, so this and uh, also the Encyclopedia of Ghosts and the Encyclopedia of Monsters, which really covered the cryptozoology. Uh, fantastic reads, lots of quick things. I'll probably be uh, doing an entire thing on stuff out of these because there's just so much and it's so well put. It's not deep research, but it's a great starting point uh, for stuff, especially, uh, you know, back in... Uh, 1985 when the book came out so there wasn't a lot there, there was no internet to go to for most people back then uh, so this was all you had to work with uh, now there's also some more scholarly stuff parapsychology this one uh, Richard Broughton PhD uh, director of research at the Institute for Parapsychology in Durham North Carolina very informative book about the science that goes into uh, paranormal research. Uh, very inspirational book here that let me meld my love of science with my love of the weird stuff. Um, as did uh, the, this uh, exploring or discovering your past lives, uh, which has a lot of very interesting stories about uh, reincarnation, uh, and a little bit about, uh, well, more than a little bit, about uh, meditation and, and trying to access those memories, which gets a little a little woo-woo uh, every now and then, uh, but very useful, again, as a starting place and very well put together. Uh, more uh, about uh, life after death and everything is this In Search of the Dead book, um, by, by Jeffrey Iverson. And uh, this one is very much uh, about the different uh, psych, uh, the different scientific uh, ways that people have started to look into life after death over the years. Uh, and this is another one from 1992. So that was a later one in the stack, but still a good find. When we really get into the weird stuff, we have Lloyd Auerbach, uh, who, who was involved with the show Sightings, uh, which was one of those great shows that was on uh, and, and that I absolutely loved. And uh, this ESP, Hauntings and Poltergeists, a parapsychologist's handbook, uh, brings in, again, the scientific research, uh, the debunking of, of hoax haunts and, and uh, things like that. So... Again, very, uh, very uh, informational, very enlightening, uh, very much a sensible way of uh, looking at this stuff. Uh, and then, of course, we have the, the other side of that, our demonologists, uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, our ghost hunters and uh, graveyard, uh, which are absolutely uh, full of terrifying accounts of uh, some very vicious hauntings. Um, some of the stories from the from uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren's case files have been made into movies relatively recently. Annabelle and The Conjuring uh, are both Ed and Lorraine Warren uh, story, uh, cases. And uh, while I don't particularly agree with everything the Warrens have done, uh, they've been caught inflating the truth at times. Uh, not, not so much outright hoaxing people. Uh, though they were also involved in the Amityville Horror, which is one of those uh, cases that got blown so far out of proportion that what most people think really happened is just movie fodder. And that's, uh, and that's it. It, it was mostly made up. And uh, that's a shame, uh, but that's what happens in this realm of stuff. And that's what those of us who believe in this stuff have to be able to filter out. And uh, again, I don't agree with the Warrens' takes on everything. They're, they're very uh, big on demons and Christian mythology and, and that sort of view that there's a lot of nasty, nasty, evil things out there uh, out to get us. And 
I'd have to say that doesn't appear to be true. Otherwise, we'd all be gotten a lot and not very happy or alive. So there'd be a lot more ghosts and a lot fewer people. Uh, but the stories and the cases they've worked on are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't recommend uh, stuff about the Warrens highly enough just for its pure uh, nightmare-inducing uh, terror. So that's a handful of books. I've got shelves and shelves more of these. Uh, and like I said, I will go into some of these more uh, in future uh, discussions. But if you've read any of these books, uh, let me know down in the comments if uh, you have uh, your own favorite books on these subjects. Let me know down in the comments. I may have them on my shelf, and if not, I may want to get a hold of them. Uh, so yeah, comment if you have anything about that to say. If you've got your own uh, stories of personal experiences, uh, use the link in the description uh, to send me a message. I want to hear your story, and I want to uh, learn more about your experiences. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, if you like anything that I've said, uh, hit the like button down there. If you want to keep informed uh, when these are coming out, uh, subscribe. They'll come right to your uh, email uh, inbox. Uh, and if you know anyone else who's into weird, spooky, strange things, share this with them and get them involved in the conversation. Uh, that's it for today. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.